Hi. Now, in these parts, C and D, we've got to use calculus then to find the minimum value of S. And in part D, show by further differentiation that the value of S we found is a minimum. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, as usual, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your methods and working against mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So in order to find a minimum value of S, this will be where the gradient of the curve equals zero. Mind you, that would be true for any stationary point, maximum or minimum. And uh, in order to get gradient, we need to differentiate this, OK? So let's just look at changing this second term here, OK, on the right-hand side. First of all, change it to 7,680 times x to the power minus 1. Remember, x to the minus 1 is 1 over x. So in order to differentiate it now, if we differentiate with respect to x, for this first term, we get 2 times 60, which is 120. Reduce the power by 1, you got just x. For this next term here, it's going to be minus 7,680 times x to the power minus 2, when we reduce the power by 1. I'm going to clean this one up, OK? We've got 120x. I never like working with negative powers there. So that's 7,680 times 1 over x squared, which is just going to give us 7,680 over x squared. Now, we know that at stationary points, I'm not really going to say that it's a minimum, OK? I don't think we should, really. But at stationary points, we've got that the gradient, that's given by ds by dx, is equal to 0. And if that's the case, then I've got 120x minus 7,680 divided by x squared. That's going to equal 0. And to solve this equation, because it's got a fraction here, x squared, I'm going to get rid of that by timesing each term by x squared. And that means that we get 120x times x squared is 120x cubed. Then for this term, this will be just minus 7,680, and this is going to equal 0. So if we rearrange this equation for x cubed, I can see that x cubed is going to be equal to 7,680 divided by 120. So uh, let's just put that in, 7,680 divided by 120. And that's nice, actually. That goes in 64 times. So we've got x cubed equals 64. And it's nice because when you take the cube root to both sides, we get x equals the cube root of 64. And it's a nice, clean value. It's 4, OK? Now, we've got to find out the value of s. So we just need to substitute this value when x equals 4 into this equation here to get s. And so we get s equals 60 times 4 squared plus 7,680 divided by 4. And if you work this out in your calculator, you end up with s equaling 2,880. OK? So that's our value of s which is supposed to be the minimum, but we're not really in a position to know if it's a minimum. And that's where part D comes in, OK? Justify, then, by further differentiation that the value of S you have found is a minimum. And we do that, then, by differentiating ds by dx a second time, getting d2s by dx squared, substituting our value of 4 in, and if it comes out positive, then we know it's a minimum, OK? So if you're unsure of these methods, by the way, do check out my video tutorials, OK, that I've got on these. So we just need to do d2s then by dx squared. And we can turn to this 
uh, expression here, okay? So if we differentiate 120x, that's just going to be 120. And differentiating the second term, we've got minus 7680 times minus 2. That's going to give us plus 15,360. And then we've got to take 1 away from the power, so that's x to the power minus 3. And I'm going to change this term here, okay? It looks better as plus 15,360 divided by x cubed. Now we need to put our value in when x equals 4 and check to see whether d2s by dx squared is going to be positive. Now quite clearly it's going to be positive because this term is going to be positive. Add it to this positive term so you could just go in and just say it's greater than 0. But if you do substitute 4 into here you find that you get 360 okay so it's greater than zero and therefore it's a minimum therefore s is a min okay when x equals four